Hi everyone, welcome to my video today. Um, today is, oh, I forgot what day it is. It is Friday, October, no, sorry, it is not Friday, it is Monday, October, let's see, 17th? I think it's the 17th. You say hi, Patches. He went, my mom took him, well, I think I got lipstick all over your mouth, and my mom went and took him to, um, see, took him with her to see my nephews, and I missed him so much when I was gone, I missed you. Oh, yes, I love you, you're my baby boy, and I got lipstick all over your mouth. So tonight for FHC, I went to a dance. Um, so, um, yeah, so I went to the dance. There, were, I didn't really see many, many people from my ward. It was a steak dance, which means it's like all the wards in my whole building. And it was a dance, Halloween, but you didn't have to dress up. And I was going to be Coraline for Halloween because I was walking, um, before I was walking in a store and this girl goes, Oh, cute hair, you look like Coraline. So I was like, Oh, I'll be her for Halloween. Um, but my my hair was bluer then, now it's fading, so I was gonna dye it back tan tonight is the color blue again. Um, but, so anyways, um, oh, all I can think of is there was this girl at the dance that was like really attractive. Um, she was like exotic looking, um, I think Mexican, just very exotic looking, and just her personality, and oh my goodness, it like, um, I just like couldn't stop thinking about her, and um, she was like wearing a tight black dress, the front went to like the knees and the bottom, the top wasn't showing or anything, but I just, I don't know what the problem is, and then I was just noticing other attractive girls that I thought were attractive, um, so I can't think of anything that caused me to be more attractive except there's this, um, family that I watch on YouTube, um, and the lady, um, is very attractive, the, her name is Anna Sacconi, and I, I'm usually fine, but then all of a sudden she was showing like something and I saw her in a bikini and then that just was like, whoa. Um, I don't know why I was so much thinking of girls today, um, but yeah, um, there is this girl in my ward that I, for some reason I find her very attractive and it's very hard when I'm around her because I'm like, I don't know if she can tell that I'm attracted to her, like, I like try not to think like that but it's so hard, I don't know if she's just really pretty and I don't, I'm like, can she, <laughs> hopefully she cannot um, read my brain but it, it's very hard when I'm around her to not think about her. So, um, yeah, those are my girl crushes. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, I don't know if you would say I'm bisexual. Um, someone asked me, and I, I don't know if it was just being rude, but in the comments, um, um, they're like, oh, are you a lesbian? Um, like, I would never, um, date a girl. I see myself marrying a guy, like, I saw a cute guy and I'm like, oh, potential to marry, but then the girls I just find really attractive, that I'm really attracted to. Um, what, baby? What's the matter? Come here. Come here, don't move the camera. Come here, Aslan. Aslan. Sorry, he's moving the camera around. What's the matter, baby? Um, so... Anyways, um, yes, he like, he always cries because he wants to go outside, but it's not safe. It's not safe for you to go outside. 
Okay, um, oh, you are getting me all hairy. So, I don't know if you can see, um, um, I just forgot my little pink patches, um, down here. Um, he actually does have two, a couple little spots on him, because, like, people are like, oh, does, because she, someone just saw his head when he was in a blanket, and she's like, oh, does he have patches on him? Honestly, I just think he looks like a patches, <laughs> even though. And I thought I could call him up because he has those little spots. But, um, yes, I love you. I just think you look like a Patches. So, um, like, I just, I see cute guys marrying potential, even though I don't have any guys in prospects right now to marry. I want to marry a guy, but I just find girls very attractive. So, I don't know what, um, you would call me. Um, or I don't really want to like label myself, um, as something, um, but, um, let's see, I read, I was looking in YouTube videos and it said, um, um, girls that wear red and black, people find more attractive, like a guy would find more attractive, so I'm like, I'm taking that advice I want people to see more, more attractive. Um, so it's like on a YouTube video, like what what do you guys find in girls more attractive? Wearing red lipstick, wearing red, and then another thing I read is if you wear black. So and then I don't remember the other things, those are just the things that stuck out to me in my mind. So. Um, Anyways, um, so, yeah, um, I don't know if there's anything else I want to talk about, um, oh, I was, I said a little bit about it, how my therapist said I was hypomanic, um, I was originally, the last diagnosis from my last psychiatrist before I went to the one here diagnosed me with schizophrenia, but when I was in the hospital, they, nice, they said I had either schizoaffective or disorganized schizophrenia. So, um, my therapist thinks it's more schizoaffective, um, so, sh um, the reason, the reason why she thought I'd been hypomanic is because I spend a bunch of money on stuff, um, I've been very more irritable and, um, um, such, I think that was because I talked about in my last video about the medication I issue, but, um, that I got a different brand, but, um, so, and then, um, just, like, I stayed up and didn't get much sleep, and I wasn't tired, and, um, anyways, my therapist just said she thought I was hypomanic, but, in a hypomanic stage, but, um, anyways, um, yeah, so, I hope this video is looking okay, hope I don't look horrible, um, yeah, I don't like one of the profiles of my face, which way I turn. I don't, I think it's this side. Like when I turn, I don't like the profile of my face. And now the camera's crooked because Aslan moved it. But, um, yeah. So, um, let's see. I don't know what else I should talk about, but, um, I know God loves me no matter what my struggles and um, that I'm loved no matter what kind of feelings I have for whomever um, still loves me and um, and anyways I don't know if there's anything else I should talk about um, I just wanted to kind of speak Oh, he's kind of cut off. Let me I'll put him here now. You can see him. You sleeping? Oh, you're so cute. It killed me. I love, I love how they smell like when he's been sleeping, how they smell salty. Oh, you're so cute. He's the most cuddliest puppy like in the whole world. Like the cuddliest. And he'll just fall asleep. Like yesterday you fell asleep against my neck and... Like, you just set him somewhere, and he'll just get comfortable and fall asleep. He's like the most snuggly puppy. Yes, you are. You are. <laughs> oh, I think he's out of focus. 
but um oh, I love you so much um so let's see I want to get him um hopefully I know you can get um an emotional support animal I don't I'm not exactly sure how you do that um so you if you make him if you get like by your therapist or psychiatrist or something that you, that you need an emotional support animal then you can somehow get them so they're an emotional support animal and um so then the only thing you can't still bring them in restaurants and stores and stuff if they're an emotional support animal but I bring him <laughs> anyways but um you can have them with you when you're on a plane and then housing places can't like apartments that don't accept animals, they have to accept them if he's an emotional support animal. I, I want to get him though in, as a service dog because then he can go with me anywhere. But I would have to think of what he can do for me. <laughs> um, I think he's just emotionally supportive but they have to um, do something for you that you can't do for yourself. And I have a bunch of psychiatric disorders so I'm trying to think what I could get so I could get him as a service animal so he could go everywhere with me. Yes, my baby boy. Oh, great. Now you have a purple head. Oh, sorry about that, love. I'm going to have to wash your face. So, anyways, um, thank you all so much for watching my video. And I love you all and God bless.